Hey, welcome to another episode of GeekOutdoors.com. On my continuing open shot tutorial series, today I'm going to be showing you how to do a jump cut. Now, if you watch any type of YouTube, you're probably very familiar with jump cuts. If you're not familiar with what I'm saying, let me show you what I mean. So whenever you watch a video, it basically jumps. You see that? There's a cut, or here's another jump cut, and then another jump cut, and then a final jump cut that you see here, where it basically jump cuts and then it just zooms in gradually to the image making me super size. <laughs> and so why would you do these jump cuts? Well, there are many reasons why, you know, one being to keep people's attention. Another reason being is to actually add some, I guess, a little bit of diversity to your actual video instead of just being one straight line. And also some people just love jump cuts and <laughs> sometimes it can be annoying. But it could be a really great tool for you to use to, I would say, enhance your videos where it makes sense. Now, I myself, I don't use many jump cuts. So let me show you how to do this. So the first thing you want to do is actually take your video clip down here. And I'm going to show you three main types of jump cuts. Okay. And so what you want to do is you want to first do waveform. Okay. So right click on your mouse, go to display, and then show waveform. What this would do is it'll actually show the different volume levels here. And so a lot of times people would use jump cuts to actually remove the parts where there is silence or they're using ums and you know where they're basically just dead space. Now I do this on every video where I do cut those parts out but I don't use it in a way where it's an actual jump cut. Creating actual jump cuts does definitely take more time especially if you want them to look very interesting. So let me show you the simple jump cut okay. So the simple one is, okay, there's dead space here, okay? So what you want to do is you basically want to cut this out so the volume doesn't start till here. Okay, so I'm going to cut that out. And then you take your scissor or slice tool off, delete that part. And then you can just move this right here. And with the snapping tool on, it'll automatically snap one clip to another so then you don't have that space in between or very little of it. And so the only thing is once you do a slice, okay, or you trim, it'll automatically remove the waveform. And so unfortunately, you're going to have to do that again. And there's the waveform again. So here you could choose where you want the jump cut, okay. So it's up to you where you want it. So that's why it's going to take some time. And so as you can see here, there isn't much dead space, but you could zoom in a little further. And you'll notice that there is some dead space right there, okay. So... You could jump that out or wherever you feel that it makes sense. So I'm going to go ahead and put a jump cut right here. Okay. So you're going to use your scissor tool again or razor tool. Go ahead and splice it right there. Okay. And then here's the simple jump cut. You could put a marker right here. So then you know where you want to put the jump cut. And so I want to go ahead and put the jump cut right there. And then I want it to end like say right here. So you're going to have to do the waveform thing again. Okay, and so I want to put the jump cut right there. Okay, so you could always put markers if you have a very long video. So I just want to put the jump cut right there. Okay, so there it is. Go ahead and choose that clip and just delete it. And then you could just put it right there. Okay, so now if you actually run your clip, there is a slight jump cut. Okay. So you see right there that there was a cut right here. Okay, so that's a simple way to do it. Now, there could be more, I would say, advanced ways of doing a jump cut or just ways that look better. One way you can use is to use the L cut jump cut. And what that means is it actually slightly overlaps your previous clip instead of going right after another because that could be kind of abrupt and you want it to be a little bit smoother. So how you would do that is you could actually take this secondary clip, move it onto a different timeline and have it overlap just a little. And in order to get it as close as possible, you could remove this or uncheck this snap tool. So then it doesn't try to snap together right at the beginning. And then that way you could have it just slightly right above the previous one. Okay. And so this will take some time to find out which is the best one to overlap. But if you play this, See, it'll overlap each other. And then you could even bring it even further where it could be more noticeable. Okay, so you'll press play and then 
see there's a cut right there and if it doesn't look very noticeable you know you could actually cut it in different areas okay so if I go back here and I show waveform let me cut it right there okay so do that again and then I'm going to take this clip over and just have it kind of overlap each other see so the cut was more noticeable right there but obviously wherever you cut it at make sure that it still makes sense in terms of you talking and that it doesn't cut a portion of your actual you know discussion off okay so that's going to take some time but that is an L cut okay so as you can tell this is like in an L shape versus just one right after another and then the final type of jump cut is where you could actually zoom in right after the cut okay so let me show you how that works so I'm gonna go ahead and do a cut right here and I'm not really focus on making it perfect here I just want to show you a technique to do it so you and you could combine this with an L cut as well so I'm gonna do that but let me show you the simple way first so here I'm gonna cut another one right there okay so here I'm gonna go ahead and make this a zoom cut okay so here if you click on here on this particular clip you can right click on your mouse and you could do it a few ways the first way is you could actually zoom in on the entire clip or portions of the clip. So all you would do is you would go to animate and here are some options. See, you could zoom. You could zoom at the start of the clip, end of the clip, or the entire clip where it eventually zooms to that percentage. So let's go ahead and do start of the clip and I'm going to zoom in, let's just say 75 to 100 percent okay so let's see how that looks like so we'll go back to this clip right here we'll press play so that looks okay but it actually went from like a smaller version to a larger version okay so let's go ahead and undo that particular zoom effect more commonly you probably want a zoom effect where it's at 100 percent and then it increases okay so you could try that again go to animate zoom at started clip and then do let's just say 100 to 150 percent okay so it'll add keyframes so what will happen here is when you play it it'll start zooming okay and so as you can see there it's pretty abrupt not the actual smoothest thing but it works okay now you could do another type of zoom where you could manually zoom yourself okay so I'm going to show you that on this clip right here the second one right here okay and so I'm gonna combine this with the L one okay so so here this is at a hundred percent so you could manually do this yourself so if you choose this clip right here you could right click on your mouse okay and do a transform okay and now you could actually manipulate the size so we'll just make this a little bit bigger Wow, that looks kind of crazy. <laughs> now, you could also look at the properties as well on the left if you want to get an exact size. Okay, so just remember the values that you want and adjust it accordingly. So let me show you this. See? So I like the transform option better because you have more control. And in different parts of the keyframes, you could actually choose different things. You know, but you could see there how using the jump cut properly can actually make your videos a little more interesting and in some cases it can really enhance the whole quality of your video in terms of not only keeping people's attention but also improving the overall visual quality now I will say that doing jump cuts and doing it well it does take time okay especially if you have a lot of clips and you have a lot of other elements on it like maybe you have different audio elements on there as well so that's why I don't do very many jump cuts on my videos because it takes quite a bit of time. Uh, so this is an option for video editors to use anytime they want to spruce things up just a little bit. And so that is it for this particular video on how to do jump cuts and the three main types. The basic one where you're just splicing parts that you don't want. The second one where you actually do an L-shaped jump cut, an L-cut. And then the final one where you do a cut and zoom. 
And so if you had any thoughts on any of these jump cuts or any other type of ways that you do jump cuts, be sure to leave that in the comments area below. And as always, if you did get value out of these videos, be sure to subscribe. And if you wanted to support my channel further, you could do that at patreon.com forward slash geek outdoors. Thanks for checking out this episode. And as always, if you like these videos, be sure to click on the subscribe button. And for full written content, audio content, and additional geek stuff, head over to geekoutdoors.com and I'll see you outdoors on the very next episode.